Hey guys, if you're like me and you just lifted your Jeep and added some bigger tires to it, you're gonna wanna recalibrate your vehicle speedometer to get the accurate speed for one and accurate fuel economy. So you're gonna wanna use a calibration tool such as the AEV ProCal. This one's called the ProCal Snap. This came along with my 2.5 inch AEV lift kit that I just installed. It's supposed to make recalibrating your speedometer and things like your gear ratio, if you just re-geared or your transfer case ratio, a snap. And I thought this was gonna be as easy as plugging this in, but looks like we gotta do a little more than that. We have to take, this is what the ProCal looks like. This plugs into your OBD2 port on the driver's side, but it also comes with a wiring harness. And you have to kind of modify your vehicle's OBD OBD2 port a little bit by plugging this in to that and then running a wire over to the passenger side wheel well or foot well and plugging this in. It doesn't look like it's that too hard, but it's definitely a little bit more involved than simply just plugging this in. Uh, you know, some other devices like this, such as the Taser JL, which I have used in the past, you got to plug it in pretty far up underneath the dash, but that's still not, I don't think, as invasive as having to go underneath the center of the dash, but we'll see. I'm about to do this for the first time and show you guys what's uh, involved with that. You're gonna wanna get underneath your dash. This right here is your OBD2 port. It's right here. Actually, first off, let me back up. You're gonna wanna go to your passenger side footwell and release this and all the contents come out. <laughs> you might want to secure these contents before you do this, but doing this kind of on the fly here, but you can remove your vehicle's glove box. It says you're gonna to want to remove the carpeting. Now I've got stuff back here already anyway. From when I wired my ham radio, it says we need to remove this. I'm not so sure you have, to, you have to remove that. I mean, I've already routed wiring across there already anyway. I fed it through. But I guess without this here, that would make it easier. So that's at your discretion. But they do suggest that you remove this. I may do that just because there's already so much. But basically, we're going to put one end of that wiring is going to go into one of these. And the other plugs into the, the OBD2 port itself on the back side. Ten millimeter socket got that out. Oh no, there's another one. If you can see that, there's another nut that needs to be removed. And there you have that. Yeah, that adds a lot better uh, area to pass through. I wish I would have known that when I ran all these wires. But either way, we'll do that on the passenger side now or driver side, sorry. All right, so back to the OBD2 port. It says to pinch, pinch tabs to release the OBD2 connector from the bracket. Okay. Got one side. Or does it go? Oh, it, it goes out the back, I think. Yeah, yeah, it does, okay. Let go. You have to pick this open here in order to access those pins. Here we go. Here it says, install the two terminals of the harness into the OBD2 connector according to labels and cavities one and nine. All right, we established that nine goes on the top, top being the one with that. All right, the catch side, that thing sticking out goes to the outside of the plug. And you push it in until you hear it click. They both clicked. I'm gonna feed all this through here. Okay, my apologies for not giving you a better angle of that. Basically, this is your OBD2. There's a little tab on top there that denotes the top where the number number nine, blue, plugs into that and the catch side goes out towards the top. And on the white one, the catch side goes out or towards the bottom in that far end. This is the left side of this according to the instructions that are online. You push those in until they click. 
And once that's done, then you put this back into this bracket here. Don't forget to pinch or press these latches shut. And when you're putting this back in, the tapered side goes down. Like so, there. Now we just need to run this wire across. Just feed this wire through. Now you're gonna wanna feed this up and into your glove box area. I believe you can just plug into any one of these. And all you gotta do is replace the carpeting here. Well, actually we gotta put the bracket back on. Piece here goes through this track. It's kind of a pain because this came out. Finally, put all your stuff back. Now that all that's done, we can take our AUV Procal and plug it into the OBD2 port. It needs to be running. That light will turn green. And in order to calibrate your tire size, you're going to want to know the actual measured height of your tire, not just the printed or listed size. Uh, these are 37 inch by 1250, 17 inch KM, BFG KM3s, which we all know they measure quite small. Actually, a lot of them do. They're not always to size. I mean, you got weight on the tire, but let's, let's find out what these actually measure at. Well, it's between 35 and a half and 36. Now that we know the measured tire size, you need to put the vehicle into the run position, pushing your start stop button twice without putting your foot on the brake. Now we must pair the AEV Procal snap to the vehicle before we can recalibrate any settings. Once this is complete, the, the Procal snap will be permanently locked to this vehicle. But now we will plug this in. And you gotta wait for a blinking brake light on the speedometer, and we have that. With your foot on the brake, press and hold the cruise on off button for three seconds. One, two, three. That's now paired to this vehicle. Now we're ready to calibrate the vehicle. Now we go in and adjust the stereo's equalizer settings. Settings, audio, equalizer. So I'd say those tires are about 35.6, 35.7. And if that's the case, you treat each one like 35.6. So there's a number here at the bottom. That's three, five, oops, three, five, six. I'm not sure if you can see that. But once that's set, now for tire size, we're gonna push and hold the brake pedal and this set or plus button for three seconds. Two, three, and brake light flashed. Okay, so we unplug it now. Unplug it and you store it in the vehicle in case you need to clear it. But basically that's all there is to it. Now say you wanna do PSI indicator, like you wanna run it at lower PSI, the recommended PSI for this kit and these tires would be 32 to 35. That might be below the factory recommended and you might wanna adjust that. To do that, you do the exact same thing we did, only you, only for PSI, we push the cancel button when we hold the brake pedal for three seconds. And that tells it that we're adjusting tire pressure instead of the other indicators. You can adjust tire size, um, Tire size, axle ratio, transfer case ratio, and your tire pressure that you want the warning light to go off at. And it does it at like a percentage of that pressure, not just, it doesn't just go off when tires go below that pressure, but when they go below like three quarters of it, I believe. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna adjust the pressure a little bit lower. All right, so I'm gonna put in the run, install the Procal. It's already green. Go back in, 
I don't want 32. So you're going to do zero. So you make this zero, three, and this will be two. And we'll push and hold the brake pedal and the cancel button and hold it for three seconds. And that double horn means it worked. It will uninstall or unplug and store it in a good location. Well, folks, that's how you install the AEV ProCal adapter and calibrate your tire size and tire pressure warning indicator. If you've installed bigger tires in your vehicle, I highly recommend the AEV ProCal Snap. It's fairly easy to use. It is a little bit cumbersome having to install the wiring harness, I will admit that, but the ease and use of it is very simple and it's very cost effective. That is the main thing. And especially if you have an AEV lift that comes with one, even better. Please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.